not going to lie. I love the optimization. And on top of that, it's kind of reminding me of Sora Online Lost Song, if any of you remember what that was. I used to play that game back on the PS Vita because I didn't really have a console or a PC to play it at the time, but I was just so surprised they even brought it to the PlayStation Vita at the time. This game really just reminds me of that. It hits home. It's like the art style and all that, and the scenery, and the music just reminds me of it. And the linear gameplay. It was kind of linear, but it had like an open world setting. I love the combat. Everything just feels so familiar. It's like I don't even have to learn the game. I know a lot of Star Online players nowadays started SAO through uh, Fatal Bullet, but if you're like me and then like a few people back in the day, it was definitely either Hollow Realization, Lost Song, or Hollow Fragment that got you into Star Online. If you haven't tried those games, you gotta try them out eventually. Wait, is that Starburst Stream? I'm about to break his legs. I'm not gonna lie. I actually don't like this controller and I spent money on it. I spent like 60, 70 bucks on this. Oh shit. Anime intro time. Reki Kawahara. Yeah, this definitely feels like Lost Song. Yeah, this definitely is Lost Song. Just with better graphics and a different story. Wait, it jiggles? No way it jiggles. Oh my god, the budget just went into that jiggle physics. Yeah, here we go, here we go. History of SAO games. This is what I was mentioning earlier. Lost Song. SAO Lost Song. This game feels just like Lost Song. Now, a lot of people that got into SAO, they started with Fatal Bullet. But for me, I started off with Lost Song and Hollow Realization. OGs really remembered the PSP Infinity Movement and then Hollow Fragment, which then came to PS Vita and then PS4. But Lost Song? Oh my gosh, that was my shit. Oh my gosh, they, they even brought back all the splash art for them? Dude, that brings me back, bro. 